So I've just done a very unusual thing for me. I've, I've uh, hot swapped while I'm out on the road the Max Lens Mod into the GoPro 12. This is, this is new. Haven't done this before. So um, not too sure about how that... Uh, I mean, it looks okay from here. I can see a little bit of, if I look at the phone image, I'm not sure you can see it, but I can see a little bit of uh, uh, curvature, fish eyeing. Fish eyeing? Is that a thing? Um, on it. And I'm just leaving it in the mode, whatever default comes up on the, on the bike. Let's start it up here. Do I have my wallet? I got my wallet. I'm not ta ta ta. Kickstand is up. There goes my jacket. Okay, so we're in Max Lens mod. What does that mean? What does that do to the view ahead? Uh, I'm not sure. We're going to find out as we go along. And then, uh, like you, I will be surprised. When we get back to the um, man cave. I don't know which way that person's going. I don't trust them. I'm going right. Let's energize the right turn signal. So, Max Lens Mod, and we're recording. Um, kind of interesting. And uh, we'll see what the view ahead looks like, if we like that, uh, as much as we did the... Um, <laughs> That's a little awkward. <laughs> Shoot. Just a little awkward. I think I could uh, actually set the... Uh, Lens, okay, uh, can't, can't do it now. We're rolling. So that was not the most awkward leave of the gas station there. <laughs> I'm going to try to pull this out a little bit, down a little bit. Let's, uh, let's do a little runabout with the Max lens on the GoPro 12. A oh, bunch of kids there. I got some thing going on. You have to tell me whether you, uh, which view you like best. What view do you do like best? I would be hard pressed because um, I'm the guy behind it right now and uh, not exactly seeing what's going on. So, I can't say. Got a full tank of gas. Woohoo! California's finest at nearly $7 a gallon. We're catching up to the Europeans in the price of our gasoline. I guess, uh, it probably reflects both the cost of getting it to us. Certainly, um, we are heavily taxed on our gasoline. I, I don't think we're as heavily taxed as um, our European friends are. Uh, I'm not sure about that, actually. But uh, by California, by USA standards, we are heavily taxed. So, uh, slam it into the gear there, wait for it to turn green, and take off in max lens mode. Uh, wow, a lot of wind buffeting. I am riding directly into the wind. It's going to be curious to see if, uh, the sound carries through all of this wind. I'm not too sure. I hope so. Good Lord. Such a bummer when it doesn't work out. Well, at least we'll be able to see the road ahead. Max lens mode. Yep. Some dude 
just can't stand to be going down this road very slow. Whoa! Big bump. That's my first neighborhood sign to go in. Drop her down into second gear. I've got to wonder if I have my earplugs in correctly because this thing sounds really loud to me with that acropovic exhaust. It's, it sounded pretty doggone loud. Maybe if I button up the uh, visor all the way, it'll quiet down a little bit. And it might help with the sound that I'm trying to, my sterling, sterling and erudite uh, audio. A little we're gonna do a little loop and lat max lens mod uh, and uh, give it time to settle in and see how that works out I'll have to see how this drains my uh, phone battery too I did not plug the phone into the uh, power takeoff so it may or may not uh, it may or may not survive this travail but oh my look at that ladies and gentlemen Welcome to San Diego. Gosh, as my Texas friends would say, ain't that pretty. We've had a, a, quite a bit of development around here lately. So when we first came out here, there were a lot less neighborhoods. Wow, I'm riding directly into the wood. Uh, we're almost heading due west, believe it or not. There's an ocean out there. And uh, afternoon wind uh, here is onshore. That means it travels from the ocean to the land. And uh, thank goodness this Shuey X14 helmet is really, really stable as a um, motorcycle helmet. It's built, I think, I'm kind of underusing it the way it's supposed to be built, but it's, um, it's really a racing helmet. And uh, I'm certainly not racing it, but uh, yeah, I tell you what, in wind like that, I've been in <clears throat> wind with uh, helmets that didn't have the arrow that this X14 does, and, and you get your after 45 minutes an hour you are feeling um, like you've been riding into the wind and your head's been bobbing around like one of those little bobble dolls hello can we get a green light here what is happening oh there we go lane again we're just checking out uh, the view ahead see which way we like it and seeing if this lash up is working as far as getting the audio uh, balanced and into the helmet I kind of feel like the old days and they're not that old four years ago three years ago of uh, motorcycle vlogging are gone it used to be that you would watch some dude hop on his bike and ride around and talk essentially <laughs> and uh, you were looking at kind of a, um, a technical uh, innovative uh, revolution the early ways to get uh, video from an, a moving vehicle 
uh, were really unwieldy and, and very large compared to what we can do nowadays. So that was innovative and technologically interesting, but I think do on a motorbike or a car or a skateboard or a bike, bicycle, uh, with a, uh, a vlogging setup. And therefore it's not, it ain't the thing that it used to be. So people are, uh, people don't just automatically look over and say, hey honey, look, there's a guy on a motorcycle, he's talking and he's riding. <laughs> so I don't think we're, uh, we're back at that, uh, that situation. But that's not to say that uh, someone still can't do it and have fun, which is what I'm doing right here. And uh, I'm just, I'm gonna put it down a little further. Just checking the, f the view ahead. Um, and I, I am a gearhead, I'm a uh, tech geek, and I like, uh, I'm not gonna filter here. I like, um, playing around with this stuff and I'm in a position where I can do some of it can't do all of it of course but can do some of it always like motorcycles my whole life and we're getting back into the traffic area boulder dash but um, so I like doing it, and I like sharing the experience, and I have a, several dozen people, it appears, that uh, don't mind sharing it with me, and that's, that's what we do. We get out on a bike, and we ride, and we put things together that work and sometimes don't work, and uh, we share all that. It's part of the community, and I really do enjoy the community. Okay, off again. Now my helmet is starting to fog up because it's it's warm enough. Your helmet will fog on a cold, humid day. It'll also fog on a warm day. We're not particularly humid, but it's warm enough that when I come to a stop, it wants to fog up. Now I have to pay attention here. That for us? No, that's not for us. That's not the road we're looking for. Not quite yet. We got to go uh, one more block. So uh, yeah, and that's what I do. I go out and I share. Then I share the experience with everyone, and uh, we go riding uh, or falling or tripping. Let's go tripping. Famous song. Here's where we turn. This is a spectacular view, this road, once we get out over the top of the crest here. This is really a beautiful view. And I must say, I'm disappointed that this gentleman is turning with us, but he is. Hey, not just my road. It's everybody's road. Should be my road. Come on. that fellow behind. Now off in the distance here we see those mountains showing up. Beautiful local mountains. And uh, we'll see the tallest one in our area when we get out there. Which is called Black Mountain. which is off to my right. I'm gonna try and get to where you can see it. It's off to my right. 
and it has those uh, communications towers on it. I have hiked to the top of Black Mountain. Yes, sir. That's what a stud I am. <laughs> I've been to the top of that thing. Views are tremendous, absolutely exquisite. And uh, coming down is more fun than going up. <laughs> I think that's probably true of any mountain climb. I don't know. Uh, maybe if you climbed Everest, <laughs> maybe not. All right. Uh, 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 uh. Time to go. Hey, Cardo, play music. Or not. Cardo ain't playing music. So how is this sounding and how is it looking for a view ahead? Can you see enough of the motorcycle in the frame? I just don't know. I don't know. But there's Black Mountain uh, straight ahead there. I hope you can see it. It's, it's off in the distance a bit, kind of misty covered today. Uh, and we are in uh, the foothills. We're about five miles from the uh, actual coastline here at uh, Wistful Vistas. We are in the foothills. And um, we get those ocean breezes coming over the top and once again we're headed right into that ocean breeze and once again I'm happy for the X14 there but it is bounce it is bouncing me around a bit so we're gonna complete this loop I'm gonna go feed this into the rapacious Mac computer whoa gosh darn is this bouncy and uh, Oh well, God, bless America and all the ships at seas. So uh, I do not remember this road being this, this rugged. What, what, what is happening? So I'm gonna go feed this in and uh, take a look at the two uh, different uh, viewpoints of the Max Lens 2 versus the um, standard lens in Superview and uh, maybe make some decisions about uh, which we'll use on the bike in the future. And also, uh, I'll be curious to see how the audio works with so much wind at me. It's probably as good a test as you can get um, on the day. So we'll check that out and see how it works out. I've had several disasters with that. Uh, and I'm, I, I do admit to having some concerns about this time around. Tell you one thing, I'm hungry. Hey mom, I'm always hungry. Been on the bike. Didn't have much of a breakfast. <laughs> I'm hungry. So we'll head back over here. You can't see it the way that I can, but that's Wistful Vistas over to our right. Uh, which we are heading to. for this street. The gendarmerie will be all over me. Like stink on a skunk. 
got to be a little careful. You got to watch out. If any of you Tuono riders out there want to give me some hints on uh, some suspension settings, I'd love to have them because right now it's it's way too um, harsh for these roads. Uh, I've had a lot of discussions with people about what are the proper suspension settings, how you should set your suspension up, etc. And um, I always vote for compliance. Wow, some pretty big apocalypse there. We're going to go up to the other gate. 